everyone welcome to another moto blog on my channel my name is marshall 3498 and to today's moto blog is going to be about a new adventure helmet that i have heard about coming about and that is supposedly i heard on live on two wheels which is chase on two wheels podcast one of his co-hosts said just a, like a, a little over a week ago said it is rumored for showy uh, my favorite uh, helmet manufacturer to be coming out with a showy Hornet X3 and that appeals to me uh, because uh, I like showy helmets uh, on my other motorcycle that I own which is a 2016 Yamaha FJR 1300 I have a RF 1200 helmet that uh, is my second one actually uh, those of you who watched my channel before uh, this will know that in when I still had my uh, red FC6 I had a red RF 1200 helmet for it um, so I'm on my second RF 1200 so needless to say I liked him uh, and I think the showy Hornet X3 would be a good helmet addition to my uh, for my ADV uh, needs on this bike and whichever ADV bike I have after this or in addition to this um, so you know I, and I'll get in why kind of this is kind of a two-part for the video I think that'd be a good thing because I took a gamble on the helmet I'm wearing I usually have run a B camera but at the moment I'm not um, but um, I'm currently wearing a climb cryos pro the second edition not the original one and though I like the helmet and the helmet uh, is a good helmet uh, I feel like for the money and you know the premium price you're paying i don't think Claude did really as good as a good a job as they should have with this helmet and um it's just it, it's a good helmet but i think they could have done better uh there's a couple nitpicks i have one nitpick being uh the cheek pads are fine they're comfortable they hug your face they're soft they're moisture wicking uh all that's fine um, they don't give you the, you know, the hamster cheeks too bad when the helmet fits you correctly, but, um, they are a little, uh, they're okay, but the part that I'm, my kind of complaint is, is that the, um, the skull cap area, you know, the part around your head, uh, from like your, around your forehead and up, is very minimalist, like it just has one little thin pad and one little strip right across the middle like where your if he had a mohawk would be and that part is okay but it's like the part on my forehead and above that like in my hairline that is uncomfortable to me after like an hour um whether i'm still comfortable on the bike or not i have to stop taking like a five minute break and then you know after that it just keeps building and it, it's never comfortable throughout the day no matter what kind of position i try to rotate it a little bit forward or back or kind of roll it on my head it just the helmet isn't too tight uh, i've had the helmet now for over a year so i've gave it a chance to broke in i probably put i don't know three thousand miles on two different bikes in the helmet so i put the time in to make sure the helmet's broke in and it just isn't comfortable uh up up to about an hour and really um, when I went pick this bike up in Asheville, I rode this bike uh, like 270 miles there Or sorry. Yeah, I rode it to get the first service done. I mean, sorry uh, 270 miles there and back and I, I, If I could have bought a, even a cheap helmet off somebody to wear back the rest of the way I would have because I was just I was uncomfortable I did not like it um, and you know, that's unfortunate because it's a good helmet, you know, it comes with an auto darkening lens or face shield, I mean, and a pin lock already in the box and an extra just clear one if you uh, so choose to run that one as well. Um, but it's just, that's the main drawback is that and the helmet on this bike in particular and even on my uh, 2022 KLR that I had before this, um, it, um, it's extremely loud even with earplugs in uh, so I have a Cardo Pack Talk Black with the upgraded 44 millimeter speakers and it sounds like in this helmet when I have the music on not right now I don't but um, it just it's it's so it's like the speakers on half volume and I just can't hear it 
And the worst part about it is, is I went AVV riding uh, only just a couple weeks ago, the first time I took this bike off-road. And the guy on the intercom, you know, they were communicating. Uh, he's giving me tips what to do, what not to do, stuff to look out for. And I just couldn't hear him. And, you know, uh, I've tried spacing the speakers out a little bit. You know, get them close to my ears and nothing seems to help. It's just the design of the helmet, I guess. Uh, because it's carbon fiber, I don't know. But, um, it's just, those two things together are just a deal breaker. Um, it, it's mainly the uncomfortable part. The speaker part, I would, I could maybe kind of get around. Uh, because... I'm usually ride by myself, so the intercom part's not that big of a deal, but you know, when you go on group rides, the whole point of having an intercom is so you can communicate people. And that that's really kind of just, you know, just, it really isn't fun in my opinion, and I don't enjoy that part of it at all uh, because of that. The, the music thing just is kind of icing on the cake too, not being able to hear it well. Um, it's not that I'm hard of hearing or anything like that either, so, but, uh, so I'm excited for that and this is kind of uh, too if some people like the climb cross pro some people don't I guess it would kind of depend if you could if you could maybe get used to the, the, the uncomfortable part or maybe put some padding in it I've tried that that doesn't help either um, and uh, maybe if you could get used to that and only listen to music like through earbuds it might be okay I don't know but well, that, guys, that's about all I've got for today's motor vlog. If you've not already done so, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, ride, have fun, and ride safe. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.